hey guys welcome back to the channel and uh, today we are doing another uh, problem and answers so today uh, we are studying the static structural analysis of a rectangular plate with a central circular hole so as of now you can see I have already uh, created the geometry to make you understand the problem and what we have to do with this Alright, so we have a rectangular plate of 1000 mm by 400 mm and we have a central hole of 200 dia. Alright, so this is the plate and we have to apply a tensile load of 4000 Newton and then we will calculate the stresses and uh, we'll study uh, what's going on and uh, if the design is uh, good or not. Alright, so for this um, if you can uh, see the model it's basically symmetric to both uh, x and y direction so instead of uh, doing the whole plate we will use only the quadrant of the plate so for that we can go to tools and we can go for symmetry and select let explain apply generate another symmetric for yz plane apply generate so we will only need uh, this quadrant of the plate to study the problem all right so let's start from the beginning all right let's go to the workbench let's start with the static structural uh, let's close this one okay so we will utilize the uh, default engineering data which is structural steel we don't want to uh, change the material or values we'll utilize the default values now in the geometry double click to start the design modular all right the first thing that we will do in design modular is set the units to millimeter and we will sketch an xy plane so right click look at go to sketching start with the circle from the center and then rectangle like this now the first thing that we will do is go to constraint symmetry select this axis and the two edges of the rectangle now right click again select new symmetry axis this time this one is the axis and these two edges so once the rectangle is symmetric we will go for dimension general yes we'll give dimension to our sketch and we will edit the dimension so this one will be 200 this is 1000 mm and this one is 400 alright then right click in the uh, drawing area and go for zoom to fit so here we have our plate and then we will go for uh, extrude of 10 mm basically and generate it all right we have uh, the plate ready but before that let's go for a symmetry so that we don't utilize the full plate we will utilize only the quadrant of the plate for symmetry select that explain apply generate go for again symmetry this time yz plane apply generate all right so we will be focusing on this area of the plate all right so from here we will close the design modeler we'll go and start with the mechanical model It will take few seconds to start the mechanical model window. From there, we can do the analysis. All right, so here we have our model. Very perfect. Right? So the first thing that we will do is we'll go for units and make sure the units are in metric mm kg newton right 
next thing that we will do is go to mesh right click go for generate mesh we'll utilize the default mesh don't worry about that we see the statistics of the mesh so we have 125 elements and 1008 nodes that's fine after that we will include some values of the loads that we were talking about so we'll come to static structural right click insert pressure now we want to insert it on this face so make sure your face selection is selected and select this face go for minus 1 MPA why we did minus 1 is because of pressure is force upon area and uh, the force was 4000 and this area is basically 400 times 10 so 4000 upon 4000 which is 1 mm right another thing that we will insert is the displacement so for that we'll select static structural insert displacement and we will select the bottom face of the plate this one and uh, if we see our axis system this plate can basically uh, be free and x and z direction but it cannot move in y direction so y component will be zero and the rest will be free similar to this one we will do it on the left face so again right click a static structural insert displacement select your face and this time the x component will be zero and y and z can move so x component zero apply that's it the other displacement that we want is on the back side so for that let's insert another displacement select the back face and this time z component will be zero and the rest will be free so after applying your displacement we want to compute the results right so we will come to solution right click insert stress we want the normal stress and again come to solution right click insert in the stress itself we want error all right after that we will solve it it will take few seconds to solve it and here we have the solution so if we take the normal stress values the maximum let's go to result display okay maximum and minimum so maximum we are uh, dealing with a stress of 4.2916 MPA units is in MPA and minimum is minus 0 0.15 Alright, and if we talk about structural error, here we have the maximum error. And you can basically go for no wireframe, so your mesh is off. You can show undeformed model like this. So you can see how much uh, the changes is going on. If we see there's a shadowed part and the change in the structure is going on now what can we interpret with this so static structure is basically uh, giving us the result that we need to uh, improve the meshing over this area this uh, circular part where the maximum region is going on so we have to give uh, more refined mesh to get a good result all right and uh, the normal stress if the computer distress is greater than yield stress stress is is equal to or less than yield stress design is safe 
but if it is greater than then design is not set that's what we can conclude with this analysis so make sure you to utilize this structural error to uh, see your design and then change your meshing according to that in this one we use the default mesh so obviously the default mesh won't give you the um, perfect result right so that's it for this tutorial it was just to explain how we can do the static structural analysis of a plate with central hole and uh, uh, if you have any doubts with this video feel free to comment down below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and subscribe and share with your friends thank you guys peace out